one of this left arm cannon. Again, it's a 400 pound revolver. The other design challenge we had was for the armor plating of little mini robots. So we have two foot tall little robots. Um, Andrew over there is powering one up right now to walk around. We'll either show it to you before the big robot starts up or right after. Um, basically, the mini robots could almost fit inside the big daddy cannon on the right arm. Not yet, but maybe if we break a couple limbs, we can fire it up. And if you have a small robot that you'd like fired out of the cannon, let us know. We'd be happy to oblige. Uh, but basically, people from around the world designed the armor plating of these robots. And the idea is that they are they are all fundamentally different. They're all unique. Our goal as a company is to be a parts provider. We want to provide a kit of parts for 15-foot tall robots. You've seen kits of parts for like 2-foot tall robots. We want to do that for like hydraulic actuation, 100 horsepower, 15 foot tall walkers, where all you need to do to make your own robots from scratch is be able to sling steel between our actuators and the design points we show you on a piece of paper in CAD. So, if you can do that, hopefully you'll be able to build your own, come to our arenas, compete, and blow up other robots. That's the goal. Aim high, right? Yeah. All right, Andrew. Can you uh, stand him up? Just walk around. <laughs> so the base robot that uh, you'll see shown in a little bit was provided by Trossen Robotics and Interbotics. Uh, so the robot is a two foot tall walking robot. You uh, might think it's small and cheap and more accessible than the big robots, but that tiny little robot sitting on a table right there is actually $16,000. Um, so even when the robots are small, they still cost a lot of money. Uh, this robot has tank treads and I would say it's pretty simplistic, but it also costs $175,000, right? So like. That's that's the range we're talking about. Andrew, are we going to be able to walk in front of the audience? Or you want to do that after the big robot goes? All right, so the little robot just took its first steps on the tabletop right there. So let's give it a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go up. Uh, uh, this robot is a two-seater. Driver in back will be yours truly. Uh, the gunner in front will be Matt. Yeah. There we go. Commander yeah. Sprocket. Commander Sprocket. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hand you guys back to Brinkley and we'll see you in a bit. Shoot the what? <laughs> okay, so what I want to hear is I want to hear a lot of noise to support these guys when they're going up there risking their lives to put on this show for you. <laughs> so. here I didn't really hear anything let's hear some cheers these guys are genius robot builders yeah. who else here could actually build a giant fighting robot like this I see 20 hands and that's awesome come join the Megabots team make sure that you are taking photos and Instagramming this and tweeting it and putting it on Facebook and when you do so hashtag Megabots hashtag Autodesk and if you can prove that to the guy that has the red Transformers hat on, then you will receive a free Megabots t-shirt, which is pretty awesome. It has the Megabots logo like you see on these samurai flags right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do like a little warm-up where we're going to chant Megabots so that these guys can get energized before they risk their lives for us. Okay. So on the count of three, what I want is I want everybody to say Megabots, Megabots, like that, all right? Okay. One, two, three, let's go! Mega box, 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 mega box. So the mega bot is now operational. Let's hear some cheers! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> no. 
Cheers, okay? Get to find the guy with the red hat, Transformers hat, to get a free Megabots t-shirt. 